Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to Candle Pros. My name is Maddox, and I thank you for joining today. Same shirt, same day. We're filming. So, in this Bath & Body Works bag, ironically, we have Scentsy Empties. <laughs> and then in this green bag, we got all Bath & Body Works Empties. So, we're going to start off with the Bath & Body Works, depending on where that this takes us after I'm done with that. I might keep Scentsy separate video. If not, um... Or if it doesn't take a long time, then I'll just, you know, do all in one video. So, let's just pick randomly here. Sorry about my dog. So, and now, keep in mind, this isn't all this month. But I finished up a fresh balsam. Lily. Finished up a fresh balsam. Sent us a woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, and cedarwood. Really good, just fresh. Kind of, obviously, eucalyptus he sent. But it was really nice. I enjoyed it burning, or I enjoyed using that. So there's that soap. Um, now, once again, this was not finished in January or February. But it is this Ocean Body Spray from Bath & Body Works. Um, Blue Cypress, Vetiver, and Coastal Air. So, really nice. It was a, there's like, you can hear a little bit, but it, nothing comes out. Like, well, I guess some stuff, but. You have to be holding it the right way, and I was just like, you know, I've it's pretty much empty. Let's grab a candle. I actually just finished this one, Crunchy English Toffee. As you can see, it burned down really nicely. Um, white wax, it's got kind of dirty. I kind of like giving all like a really close up view of it, just so that you can see all the details. Um, ooh, that's really strong. Um, it's not really a lot of soot around the edges. No, <coughs> sorry. No waxy residue really anywhere. Uh, um, just a pretty clean burn all the way down. Crunchy English toffee has scent notes of sweet brown sugar, crunchy toffee, and dash of vanilla extract. I actually just finished this one up on Sunday. Actually, no, I finished it up on Monday. So that was beginning of this week. So that's a really good candle. I have five more of those. So I'm pretty, much, pretty well stocked. Um... This one, this one, you might be wondering, Maddox, there is so much wax left in there. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I didn't put on the candle clock or candle lamp. I might do that later, but I really like the scent too. It's blueberry maple pancakes. A lot of wax residue on the side, so that's, you know, something I don't really like to see in a candle, but it happens every now and then. The wicks just kept dudding out. Like, they get... They're not even, they're so short, and they're not even that short, and they just dud it out. They'll start off strong for, like, the first 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then they just start being, like, that small, like, they don't burn the candle anymore. So, I'm like, there's no point in keeping on burning it if it's not going to burn down. Scent notes are, got a little, some oil residue right there or something. Wild blueberries, griddle, fresh pancakes, and warm maple, maple syrup. So yes, it's a really lovely, nice mapley, pancakey, blueberry scent. It just didn't. It it just kept dudding out. So I was just like, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to waste my time on one candle when I have over seventy five. So, um, next, I finished. I just have to smell it and all know. I finished pumpkin carving wallflower. This one was a really good, strong performer. I have a wallflower in here that got really dirty for some reason. This, ooh. This one is Marshmallow Fireside. That's right. Marshmallow Fireside was in the downstairs bathroom. Pumpkin carving was in my my bathroom. Actually, yeah, my bathroom. This next wallflower I have here is... Um, This was my last one of... What was it called? It's somewhere on here. Um, red, white, and berry pie, or red, white, and blue pie. This one got really dirty. Um, here it is. The sticky stuff. I don't know how it got sticky, but it did, and it was really hard to get off and everything like that. So, I'm glad that one was done. That was also in my bathroom. Um, my mom finished Into the Star, In the Stars, I mean, um, pocket back. Um, this one, you might be wondering, it still has stuff in it. Marshmallow tree. Um, yeah, whenever 
I smell it here, it smells good. But whenever it's on my hands, it smells complete trash. It smells like rubber, it smells bad. So, yeah, this was like, forget it. Um, I have two more candles, but I'm gonna save those for last. Um, I have this Merry Christmas Iced Cinnamon Rolls. Obviously, it wasn't finished. It's just really old, and the fragrance just isn't hitting like it did back then. So, this is in my empties. And you might be wondering, Maddox, that's a waste. Y'all, I have so many products. It's really not... I mean, like, you just think about it. Toasted Vanilla Chai. Scent notes of whipped vanilla, sponge sugar, and winter spice. This one is a really good, probably, cinnamon roll scent. Yeah, it's like a spicy cinnamon roll, so that one smells nice. And then rose water, oops, rose water and ivy, um, soft rose petals, rain kissed, ivy, and spring musk. So this one, it's like, it's like a woman's soap, if that makes any sense. It's like sweet, florally. It's, you know, it's fine. Um, this isn't my favorite. It's my mom's, one of my mom's favorites. Um, here we go. Um, I've been saving this one. You might be wondering, Maddox, you have, like, a lot left. Well, yeah. It smells burnt. I love Raspberry Thumbprint. I loved it so much. Here was the label. Ooh, a little too close there. Loved it. Loved the lid. Scent notes before I dig deep into this one was Buttery Shortbread, Rich Raspberry Jam, Sprinkled with Powdered Sugar. When I smell it, I don't even get the fragrance anymore. All I get is burnt. Um, it was white wax. I mean, it burned perfectly all the way down. I mean, no soot, no anything. So, all in all, this was the best candle burn I've had in a while. It just smells burnt, and I can't stand it. So, I was like, I don't want to burn a candle that smells burnt. You know what I mean? And then last item in here, um, I'll do my sense of empties in this video. Iced Lemon Pound Cake. Love it. So, as you can see, it's thin down here and thick up here. I don't know what happened to this one. I guess it was slanted or something, which it wasn't. It was on a flat surface. Um, the It's yellow wax. It looks white, but it's actually, here we go, yellow. It's kind of dirty. Um, It was a really good performer. I mean, it smells great. I mean, it, you know, it did good. But otherwise, it left a little bit of wax residue, and it's just slanted. So I don't know what problem it was giving me. So we got some trash here. I need to go put in the trash bin. Now we have my Sunsy Empties. I finished some good stuff. This um, this is all from January and the beginning of this month. Um, I finished two bricks. Spoiler alert. We'll do some bars and then get to those bricks. Or a brick. Um, I put this in two or three days ago. Caramel Buttercream. I still have one left. All these are Scentsy empties, so I don't have any off-brand, like, um, Sensationals, Homeworks, or, or whatever. Yeah. This one is kind of oily on the outside now as well. But Caramel Buttercream, I have scent notes on some, some I don't. Buttercream and Vanilla Bean Wrapped in Caramelized Sugar. This one was from our Sensorations collection in 2022. I have one more left. Should have added it to my club. I didn't. That's my fault. Um, but yes, that one was a, is a strong performer for a few hours, but then it kind of dies off. This one I'm thinking about adding to my club. It's NHL Fresh Ice because it's just, I mean, it's like, it's like, it's not like the best fresh minty scent I've ever sent, smelled, but it's, it's up there. Um, cold air and icy mint face off at full strength while a splat, slap shot of sandalwood brings home the win. The sand, I don't smell any sandalwood. I just get cold air and icy mint. So there's that. I did this a few weeks ago in my open concept. So I actually, what I do is I put four cubes in the entryway warmer. So it kind of goes upstairs. Our entryway is huge. It's high ceilings, everything like that. Um, I also have a few warmers here and there in the living room and bar area. But So I try to use a whole wax bar in each wax change. Sometimes I use two. And this one... I actually just changed out right before I filmed this video. Like, I filmed this video, like, five minutes after I changed out the wax. Vanilla Barnwood. This is my last bar. Everyone says oh, it smells lemony. It smells all this. All I get is Fruit Loops. I mean, that's not good. I was hoping it had some time to cure. So, it might be stronger than it was before. Because when I burned it before, you couldn't smell it at all. So, Vanilla Barnwood. Um, like I just said, it's not really a great thrower. It's not a heavy hitter. But, it's still pretty good. After this bar, we'll go into the bricks. 
Um, we have the Muppets. This is so... I don't know how to describe it. I got this in clearance when I started since 2021 or something. And I've had this bar ever since, so yeah. So it was pretty juicy, but it's a fresh... It's not an earthy scent, I wouldn't say. It's just a nice fruity floral mixed together, if that makes any sense. So there's that. Um, We finished a brick in... Mm. I actually just finished this like two days ago, Shh. or three or four, two, three, four days ago. Sugar cookie. Scentsy, FYI, is discontinuing bricks. Yeah. So I have like a whole bin of bricks, so I'm stocked up. Um, but if you like a brick, make sure you stock up on it. Um, I don't know if you can add it to your club and always get it because it's called always get my bar and always get my brick bar. I don't know. But anyway, so one, I finished sugar cookie, and if you didn't know... A Scentsy Brick is five and a half, almost six times the amount of wax as in a Scentsy Bar. It's as big as my face, as you can see. Um, and this is a regular size bar compared to a brick. So, um, Sugar Cookie is a really nice bakery scent. I found with a lot of my bricks, the scent doesn't last about two hours. Like, it lasts very short. Um, since I held up this bar, I'm sorry I'm kind of rushing it. This video is already 11 minutes long. I don't want to keep you. Um, Peppermint Dreams. This was my last one, I believe. Yeah, I finished two Peppermint Dreams. So, here's Peppermint Dreams. Finished two of these. These are the only two I had. I'm so glad I'm starting to get candles. Wax melts out of my collection. I just need to, like, die down so I can re-up it. You know what I mean? Like, with new stuff and everything. So, yes. Um, Peppermint Dreams has sent us a sugary joy of candy canes, traditional, traditional eggnog, and even some oven-baked confections. So, yes. it's. I think... I get like that Andy's mint type of scent in this, but I also get like a like a sugar cookie note or something like that. So that's pretty fun. So yes, Peppermint Dreams, really, really, really good. Um, one bar I do not have with me is Hufflepuff Just and Loyal. I finished one of those in my room. This one is Gimme Candy. I will be purchasing. Um, if you didn't know, I am a Sensi consultant. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Um, right now, Sensi um catalog is 10% off so make sure you go we're in the transition month from fall winter to spring summer anyway give me candy I'm ordering a six bar but maybe a six bar bundle and a three bar bundle I'm not sure um and adding it to my club give me candy is so good it's like so candy sweet it's like caramel a heavy dose of can candy if you know what I mean but um and then I have one more Scentsy item and that is a brick. So yes, like I said, I had two bricks. I'm actually kind of sad I finished this one because it's such a good scent. Maraschino sugar cookie Scentsy brick Um, it was getting kind of oily. So I just like I gotta finish it up and I only have like three cubes left um if This were to come back again because I know it's come back in like flash sale and clearance and stuff I would purchase another one one or two more maybe three or maybe eight. I'm just kidding not eight, but um it's really good. Um, like I said, it's kind of it was kind of getting dirty and juicy and all that, so I just wanted to finish it up. It's really nice um, bakery cherry cookie scent. So that's really. Good. But that is all for this empties. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.